In the born again person, the spirit is the part in and through which man is in contact with God. Your spirit is what God contacts. Okay? He doesn't contact your soul. He contacts your spirit. And through the spirit, he flows through your soul. And when he flows through your soul, then that spirit, that come, his spirit, coming out of your spirit. See, your spirit was recreated so his spirit could live in your spirit. And so then he put his spirit in you. And when he put his spirit in you, now his spirit wants to flow out to the world. The only way your spirit and his spirit can contact the world is that your soul allow it to come out and your body function in connection with it. That's the way it is. So the spirit can move out of your spirit, okay, and move into your soul and give you worth. Now, this is like praying in the spirit. When you pray in the spirit in other tongues, then if you're going to have the interpretation of it, see, you can pray and your body will function with your spirit in this sense because it'll move. But your soul, your mind has no understanding. It's not benefited at all. But your spirit will be benefited by praying in other tongues because the spirit will pray the perfect prayer for you and God's perfect will. But when it comes through, if you're going to get any understanding from those tongues, then you have to have the interpretation of that spirit that is flowing out. That means that for you to give the correct interpretation, your mind has to be renewed to the word of God to the degree that it can interpret what is coming out. This is why, for instance, if you look in the back of any of our manuals, there are prophetic words there that were given to me uh, by God through different people. Bishop Bill Hammond was one. Uh, Simeon Stewart was another. There were several other people. And if you read what they say, then they use words like a double portion anointing, okay? Which is not New Testament. There's no mention of a double portion anointing in the New Testament, right? But they will say that. Why? Because that's an old covenant mindset and they are trying to take things of the spirit and it has to filter through their soul. And their soul is old covenant minded and has old covenant principles. So it, those words are formed and come out from old covenant, from an old covenant mindset. So if you're a new covenant person understanding the new covenant, then you have to take that prophecy and that interpretation. And then you have to filter that through the new covenant, which the new covenant equivalent of a double portion anointing would be the fullness of the spirit. Does that make sense? Yeah. So whenever we use terms in church, like double portion or even anointing, talking about a gifting or a, uh, the presence of God and things like that. that. That's not New Testament, okay? That's all Old Testament, Old Covenant mindset. The New Testament, the, the difference is the Old Covenant, God was out there. New Testament, he's in here. And so there is a union that takes place. In the Old Testament, they had to inquire. In the New Testament, we're in union with and his spirit flows through us. And so there's an automatic union. 